This is the Cartesian coordinate plane, or we can also call this as coordinate plane or Cartesian plane. It is named after French mathematician René Descartes, who formalized its use in mathematics. It is a system for graphing number pairs, which we also call as point. A point in a plane or graph contains two components where order matters. It comes in the form of x, y, where x comes first and y comes second. We call this point an ordered pair. In an ordered pair, the first number is always the x coordinate or we also call this as abscissa. And the second number is y coordinate or we can also call this as ordinate. A coordinate plane is composed of two lines intersecting at 90 degree angle at the point 0, 0, that is the middle part of the graph, this one, which is also known as the origin. Again, the intersection of x-axis and y-axis is called the origin, or it has the coordinates 0, 0. The x-coordinate of the point xy moves the point along a horizontal line. The red line that you can see, that is our x-axis. If the value of x is positive, point moves to the right. And if the value of x is negative, then point moves to the left. The y-coordinate of the point xy moves the point along a vertical line. This is the blue line that you see in our figure. If the value of y is positive, then the point moves upward. If the value of y is negative, then the point moves downward. Now, let's proceed to quadrants of Cartesian plane. So, our Cartesian plane can be divided by 4. We call this quadrants. The first quadrant, which is in this area, it has positive coordinates. The x is positive and y is also positive. In quadrant 2, this part, we have negative positive. The value of x is negative from the horizontal line and then the value of y is positive as you can see in our figure. Then, for quadrant 3, both coordinates are negative. So as you can see in the figure, this part, the horizontal part of the third quadrant is negative and then the vertical part is also negative. Quadrant 4, the value of x must be positive while the value of y must be negative. So this is the part of our quadrant 4. Now, let's have an example in identifying the quadrant. Again, let's recall, quadrant 1 must be two positive coordinates. Quadrant 2, it must be negative first and then positive. Quadrant 3, both negative. Quadrant 4, positive, negative. Please take note of that. Now, let's have an example. For example, we have 4 and negative 3. In what quadrant does it belong? So, since this is positive and negative, the value of x is positive and the value of y is negative, then therefore, the quadrant we're looking for is the fourth quadrant. It means that in case that you will start plotting your points, doon nyo sa area ng quadrant 4 makikita yung inyong point. Okay? Another example, 5, 1. So the value of x is positive and the value of y is positive. They are both positive. Therefore, they belong to quadrant 1. Third one, negative 1 and negative 2. So they are both negative. They belong to quadrant 3. The fourth example, negative 2 
and positive 2. So, negative muna bago positive. It belongs to quadrant 2. Another, negative 5 and negative 4. They are, they are both negative. So, they belong to quadrant 3. Letter F, 0, 4. As you can see, the x coordinate is 0. It's neither positive nor negative. So, in what quadrant will we find 0, 4? Actually, this does not belong to any quadrant. Kasi, wala siya sa loob ng quadrant. Nandun siya mismo sa axis. And since we have no value for x, then therefore, this will be seen in the y-axis. Kasi, y-coordinate lang ang meron sa given. Another example. Negative 5, 0. So, in this example, x-coordinate is negative 5, while the y-coordinate, it has no sign. It's neither positive nor negative. So, therefore, it does not belong to any quadrant. Then, what will be the location of negative 5 and 0? This will lie on x-axis since the only coordinate we have is x. Last example, 0, 0. So, both coordinates have no sign. In what quadrant can we find this one? So, they do not belong to any quadrant. But instead, it is in the middle, so we call it origin.